Welcome back to my channel. Today I am so excited. I have never done one of these before on my channel ever and I've never really done any of these ranking things but someone in my discord uh, was sharing some of these little ranking things. I did one ranking expansions. I wish I recorded it but I just kind of did it for fun and then this one they linked to and I was like oh my gosh this one would be really really fun to do as a YouTube video and that's what we're doing today. So we're just going to be going through and ranking World of Warcraft characters. I think I know most of them. There's a few where I'm not really sure who they are, but I'm going to do my best and let's get to ranking. All right, first one, I think that that is supposed to be Yorel. Personally, I do not like Yorel at all. Uh, next is Tyrande, I believe, or is this Yasira? Some of the pictures are very like... Obscure. No, Tyrande's down here. So is this Ysira? Let's put Ysira up on A or B. Ooh, let's go with B for now, but we'll see if we do any rearranging at the end because I want to try to keep like the best at the top. Uh, Jaina, I am going to say, oh my gosh. Okay. Jaina, that's a hard one because I don't really like newer Jaina, like everything that they've done with her since like BFA, I'm not a fan of. So I'm going to put her in the B tier. Uh, I don't know who this is. Like literally, I'm not even sure. Um, Agra, that's Thrall's wife, right? Let's put her in the D tier too. I don't really care much about Agra, to be honest. Uh, Akama, I mean, Akama's pretty cool. I like the Black Temple a lot but not like a big lore character that I care about. I think a lot of them are going to be in the B or in the D tier, if I'm going to be completely honest with you. Uh, Illyria Windrunner. Let's put her in the A tier. I love Windrunner sisters and everything, so she'll go there. I don't think she's quite S tier because I, she's not my favorite Windrunner, but pretty good. Uh, next we have Alex Straza. Interesting picture for Alex Straza. I think that that's like a cosplayer. Um, Alex Straza. Ooh, is she S tier? Maybe. I'm going to say that she's an S tier one for sure. Uh, Anduin. Okay, that's a weird picture for him. I used to hate Anduin a lot, but he really grew on me in the last, I don't know, like year or two, pretty much since Shadowlands or even BFA, to be honest. When I read uh, Before the Storm and with Sylvanas calling him Little Lion, I have really, really, like, I mean, almost S tier worthy. Like, seriously, I really love Anduin. He's one of my favorite characters. Uh, next up, Zappy Boy. This is another one. I don't really care too much about Zappy Boy. He's cool, but whatever. Um, is this Archimond? Mm, I'm gonna put him in the D tier. Not really. Oh, Arthas. Okay. Arthas is S tier. Fuck yeah. We love Arthas. Um, oh my gosh, I don't remember. I just ran the Eternal Palace like the other day. I don't remember her name, but I know that she's that fat BFA gal that uh, I don't like. And she's like usually beside like Jaina's mom in like the cutscenes and stuff. Don't really care about her. I think her name starts with a P, but I don't fully remember. Um, next, is this just a blood troll? Like, just a random blood troll? Or is this, like, a lore character? It's definitely not Bwonsamdi, so let's, uh, I'm not sure who that is. Uh, Ashara, oh my god, instant S-tier, love it. I guess I'll have to organize these two, okay? To be honest, Ashara, literally the best. And then probably Arthas. I'll probably organize these more towards the end. But yeah, just realize that that's going to be a thing. Um, then we have Bane Bloodhoof. Mm, I mean, let's put him in the C tier because I don't hate him, but he just kind of sits around. So like, whatever. And he's a cow. Uh, Bolvar, Four Dragon, Goddamn Usurper. We're going to put him in the C tier. Uh, is this... I forget the name. Gorak Tool, I believe, the dressed guy. I'm pretty sure that that's who that is. I don't really care much about him. Let's throw him there. I'm not sure who this is. Is this like one of the dwarf explorer guys? I'm not 100% sure. He's going in the D tier. Uh, is this supposed to be Malfurion? 
it's so weird. Some of the arts are like really obscure arts that I've never seen before. We're going to put it up in the A tier. Love, Storm Rage Brothers. They're all good. There's Buon Samdi. Okay. Buon Samdi is going up in A tier for sure. Uh, Karen Bloodhoof. Uh, I don't really care much about him. Scenarius. That's another good one, but I don't know if I'd say B tier. Let's put him or A tier. We'll put him in the B tier because he's really cool. But uh, mm, I'm not really sure. I'm kind of debating about Jaina and Yasira. Like, is that really where I want them? I'm not sure. Maybe we'll move them around, but we'll get it filled out a little bit more first. Uh, this is supposed to be Chen, I believe. I like Chen. We'll put him in C tier. He's cool on Heroes of the Storm, and I, I like his vibes, but not like a super lore character that I keep up with. Uh, also, Chogal. Chogal's pretty cool. I'll put him in the C tier. Uh, I mean, like, maybe D tier. But I'll keep him here for now, because he's also another Heroes of the Storm one that I kind of think is cool. Uh, Chromie. Chromie kind of bothers me a little bit, I'm going to be honest. Uh, I'm just not a huge fan of, like, the squeaky voice and stuff, but she does provide us with Chromie time, so we'll put her into the C tier. C for Chromie. Uh, Cthune. Where should Cthune go? It's like, old gods are dope AF, but I don't really have any, like, personal, like, connections to them, so it's not that big of a deal to me. Deathwing, oh my gosh, S tier. I'm gonna say S tier for Deathwing. He's just iconic as hell. Meltharian, we love it. Love the vibes. Uh, Draca. Let's put Draca. Where do we want to put her? She was really cool in Shadowlands. I'm going to be completely honest with you. But I don't know if I have a super big like lore connection with her. So let's put her into the C tier, I'm thinking. Uh, all right. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, next, is this Duratan? The Frost Wolf guy, is that his name? I'm not like a big orc person, I'm going to be completely honest. Uh, another one, I don't really care too much about orcs. I'm going to throw him there. Uh, this is Homegirl from the Nighthold, right? Is that what that raid is called? The Nighthold? Grand Magistrix Elisand or something like that? Um, again, another one. Mm. She's really cool, but I don't know if I have much of a lore connection to her. But at the same time, I really, really love elves and the Nightborn. But let's put her into the C tier. Uh, Falstad. Oh my gosh, this is one of my favorites on uh, Heroes of the Storm. Uh, but I'm not a big like dwarf fan, I would say. I think there's going to be a lot in the C and D tier because it's kind of like I really got to reserve the top tiers for the best. Uh, Gallywix. Mm. I really like the cinematic where he shows Sylvanas the Azerite, but I don't know. He's not that cool. Um, is this supposed to be Garona? I think? She's pretty cool. Love her in the Warcraft movie. Um, I think I'm going to say C tier. For now, we might do some organizing of things. Garrosh. Good old Gary. Okay. I mean... I really like him because he's super evil, um, like, and just super owns up to his shit. So let's put him in the B tier. This is our first orc up in the B tier, so that's pretty good. Uh, Gen, Grey Mane. Okay, here's the thing. I hate him lore-wise because just all the drama with Sylvanas and stuff, but he's just, like, a really big character, and he's kind of cool but not cool enough, but we'll put him in the C tier. I, I'm not going to be like, oh, I hate him because of the lore stuff, because I can respect a cool character, you know? He's pretty good. Um, ooh, another orc. I'm not good with the orcs. I am not sure. I'm sure that he was in Warlords of Draenor, but I'm just not sure what that artwork is. I'm going to be, to be honest with you right now, if I knew the name, like if someone said the name, I'm sure that I would know. But either way, they would be going in the D, the D tier, so it doesn't matter. Uh, Gul'dan. Okay, Gul'dan is another one. That's an orc that I can respect. Very cool. So he'll be up beside Gary here. 
Uh, this is Haldren Brightwing or something like that. I don't fully remember, but I'm pretty sure he like stands in Silvermoon beside um, Lorthamar, I believe. And he was like one of Solanus's like people, I think. Uh, let's throw him. I mean, I don't have any strong lore connections. So we're just going to go here. He's just kind of an NPC, you know? Hell yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm thinking B tier. I feel like she was really, really cool. I only really got to see her in Legion, but I mean, I, I loved the whole vibe. All the little Sylvanas cutscenes and stuff with her were cool. Illidan. Oh my God. We're going to put Illidan above Ashara. Illidan is like my favorite. Pretty much like Sylvanas and Illidan are my top faves. So he's going straight to the top. Love him so much. Okay. What is up? Is this Jaina twice? Or is this someone else? Is this supposed to be like Medivh's mom or some shit? Egwin? Agewin? I don't know. I thought that it was Jaina. It kind of looked like Jaina's uh, mog from like back in like Wrath of the Lich King. But here's Jaina now. So I'm not sure. Maybe it's just the arts are throwing me off. But now I'm just confused, but we're going to put Jaina in the B tier, and I'm sure a lot of people are, like, low-key mad about that, because I know that Jaina is probably a favorite for a lot of people, but uh, I'll put her mm, I'll put her in the A tier, because, again, I can respect, uh, like, you know, good lore characters. I really liked the, was it Tides of War? Was that the Jaina book? I really liked that book. I do like Jaina. I just actually ran, um... Battle of Dazaralor recently and Jaina's in it at the end and it does kind of give me like the chills every time she's on the screen like just hearing like her voice lines it's kind of like iconic and also the Jaina song like the Warbringers video is pretty good so we'll move her up to the A tier. Kael'thas, love. Kael'thas, I don't really know about this order I'm just kind of putting them wherever but Kael'thas is an S tier for me I love Kael'thas so much especially Shadowlands. Kel'thas, like Sin Daddy Kel'thas is the best. Uh, Calic, Calicos, let's say mm, it's between A and B. I mean, I would say Dragonflight let me care about him a lot more. So I'm going to put him in a B tier because he hasn't been like a long time, like super lore favorite for me. Um, Admiral Proudmore, Jaina's mom. I don't really care about her. We're going to put her in the D tier. I literally don't care. Uh, Kel'Thuzad. That's a cool one. Let's put Kel'Thuzad in either the A tier or the B tier. But I'm thinking the A tier because he is a classic one for sure. Oh my god. Cadgar. I love Cadgar. Like a lot. Like he's like ultimate like dad jokes guy his goddamn Apexis crystals, but it's like, he's just funny, you know, like he's just like dad mode funny. He's not like top tier obsessed with kind of level. Uh, Kill Jaden, that is my realm. I am on the Kill Jaden realm, but I don't really care much about Kill Jaden personally. I'm thinking a C tier, especially because it's my realm. So we'll go with that. I'm going to be honest. I don't know who this is. I really don't. I don't know if it's just the artwork that they're using, but I'm just not sure. So we're going to put them right here because <laughs> I don't know. You guys can let me know any of the ones that I was unsure of. You can roast me in the comments. I'm doing my best. Um, is this Lady Vash, I believe? We love a Naga Queen, so we'll put her up there. Um, I should know this. I know that this is a Blood Knight. I know that she's a popular character, but the name, Lady Liadrin, I was like, why is it slipping from me right now? Lady Liadrin, let's put her in the B tier. I think that that's where we're going to put her. Uh, Lorthamar, okay, I love Lorthamar. I don't know if I'd say S tier. I mean, like, maybe. Like, it's kind of, like, in between the S tier and the A tier. Uh, yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. We're going to put Lorthamar up there. I'm not sure who this Torin is. Again, I'm sure if someone said the name, I would know, but it's just not coming to me. Either way, they would go into the D tier. Magni. Okay, Magni. 
Oh my god, Battle for Azeroth with Magni. I like Magni in like a funny way. I think that I mostly like Magni because of Pyromancer. You guys might know the YouTuber Pyromancer who doesn't do World of Warcraft videos anymore, but he used to do a really good Magni impression, so I've got some respect, even though he was annoying. It's like in an, in an iconic way. He was annoying during BFA. Uh, Maev. Oh my gosh, I love Maev. Okay, so who is this? This is not Malfurion. See, I wasn't sure about the arts because I didn't see who else was down here, but I feel like the name is there. I feel like it starts with a B, and I'm just not sure who it is. So again, let's uh, let's move them down because I'm not sure. I think that if I heard the name, I would know, but it's just not, I don't know. I feel like their first name starts with the B and their last name is like a G or something, but I'm not sure what I'm thinking, but let's put Maev. Do we want her in the, let's put her in the A tier. Sorry about that pop up there. Uh, we'll put Maev in the A tier because I really, really like Maev, especially on Heroes of the Storm, but I feel like she's not prominent enough of a character to like full on be in the S tier. Uh, Malfurion, I'm going to actually put Malfurion up here. Well, mm, yeah, I mean, the way that Malfurion's been in game recently, like for the last like few expansions, and then he hasn't even really been around much in game in general, but for his old school, old school lore, like in the books and stuff, S tier. Um, who the hell is this? This is obviously a dragon, but I don't know... Maligos? Is this Maligos? I'm guessing so. We're gonna put Maligos... Mm, I don't really care a whole lot about him, but he's a dragon, so he's cool. Uh, is this Shaw? Matthias Shaw? Another one? I don't really care much about him. Kind of a, an iconic, like, classic character, though, so I guess we'll put him in the C tier. Oh my gosh, Medivh! Okay, let's see. Where do we want to put Medivh? Mmm, Medivh is pretty dang cool. Let's put Medivh in the B tier. Love some Medivh. Again, another one I really like in Heroes of the Storm. Does anyone else play Heroes of the Storm? Because I'm a big Heroes of the Storm fan. Uh, Melvin Mechatork, is that his first name? I don't really care much about gnomes or about Mechatork, so we're going to throw him into the D tier. Uh, I forget her name. I don't remember. Is it like Moria or something like that? I don't really care much about dwarves either. Uh, Muradin, that's actually his Heroes of the Storm uh, artwork. Oh my god, Sylvanas is there. I see you. Uh, Muradin, let's put him in the C tier. I don't hate him, but uh, mostly Heroes of the Storm is like all that I know about him. I mean, also the Arthas stuff that went down, but I don't really, I don't know. I just don't have a lore connection to him. Uh, all right, Nazoth. Again, we love, we love the old gods. Okay. I feel like Nazoth is quite a bit cooler. I'm not going to say A tier, but I did have the eye of Nazoth thing in, was that Battle for Azeroth? Yeah. So, I mean, he's pretty cool. I like Nazoth, but we'll just throw him there. Oh my gosh. Immediate S tier. I don't know. I don't know if I'd say like over in the front, definitely not beyond Illidan. But I do love Nathanos, so we'll throw Nathanos up there for sure. Uh, is this Ner'zhul? I don't really care much. Again, the orcs aren't super my vibe. We'll put it in the, the C tier. Uh, Nazdormu, let's see. Where should Nazdormu go? Maybe the B tier? Yeah, or maybe the A tier? I'm not sure. The A tier, maybe. I would say, you know what, we're going to move Ysera up to the A tier. I think as I'm looking at this more and kind of getting a gauge for where everything else is, I think I'm feeling it. I'm still, is this Egwin? Agwin? How do you say her name? I'm thinking that that's who that is. I thought it was Jaina earlier, but um, who is this? Oh, God. I forget what his name is. I know that he's in Legion in the what is it? The trial of something and the eye of Odin? Is it Odin? A lot of the names sometimes I'm just like, they're just slipping me. I don't really care much about him. So we'll just throw him down in the D tier. Ragnaros. I feel like that's such a weird 
picture who's choosing the pictures for these i feel like you could have gotten such a better one like this isn't the best representation of ragnaros uh we will throw ragnaros into it's like such a classic character you know i'm thinking the b tier like i feel like i could get stoked on some ragnaros um who is this this is some like zandalari troll either way they're going into the d tier i do not care Rexar. Let's put Rexar into the C tier because I miss going and tracking him down in Desolus and he's in Heroes of the Storm again, so that's cool. This guy. Who is this guy? I feel like is that supposed to be like I don't I don't really know. I'm thinking like um the Eastern Plague Lands or like something to do with Ice Crown Citadel, but I'm not really sure based off of this artwork which I feel really sad saying that like I feel like I should know this one but I just I'm just not sure maybe if there was like an actual artwork instead of just like he kind of just looks like a human male character and I'm just not sure so I'm sorry so we're gonna put him into the C tier because I'm not sure uh this is what a random troll I'm not big on like troll lore stuff so D tier I feel like there's kind of like a few I mean, there's definitely a few left that I know, but a lot of them are kind of like, mm, I don't know, bro. Uh, I don't even know who this is. Some random blood elf. We're going to put him into the D tier because I don't think they're worthy of C tier if I'm not sure uh, who they are. Oh my god. <laughs> this Sarfang. Oh my gosh. Of all the ones that they could have picked, that is just hilarious. Okay, Sargeras. Where should we put Sargeras? Let's throw Sargeras into the A tier. We love Sargeras. Um, Sarfang. I mean, I don't care too much about Sarfang. I mean, he's very uh, honor driven and stuff, but he kind of bothered me with everything that went down with Sylvanas. So we're just going to throw him into the C tier. Sylvanas immediate up here with Illidan. Sylvanas and Illidan, just literally the best. 100%. Uh, Queen Talanji, probably in the C tier. She's kind of a newer character. I don't really have a whole lot of a connection to her. Um, who is... The name is slipping me. I know that she came out in BFA and that she's Bolvar's daughter, but the name is just slipping me and I'm just not really sure. And I know that she's like got a crush on Anduin or something. She's got a hammer. But the name is just not coming there. But just so you guys know, I do know who she is. My, I don't know why I want to say Kalia, but she's obviously not Kalia. But maybe her name starts with like a T. Talia? Is that her name? I have no idea. Um, okay, Thalysra. Let's put Thalysra up into the A tier because she's cool. I wouldn't say that she's like peak top uh, favorite character. Uh, Thrall. Let's put Thrall up into the A tier, maybe. I mean, no, maybe the B tier. It's kind of like Thrall is such a staple character, but mm, I feel like he's just been being a little bitch recently for the last few expansions, so we'll put him into the B tier again. I'm not like huge on orcs. Is this supposed to be Tyrion? I think. I'm not sure. I'm not really good with a lot of these humans. I feel like all the male humans just kind of look the same. Uh, he's got the Ashbringer sword. I'm not too sure. Uh, that sounds embarrassing because I'm sure I'm going to get roasted for not knowing, but I'm just not good with the human names. Uh, and I don't really care all that much. So we're going to throw him down here. He's kind of one of another, one of those like Eastern Plague Lands characters, like Lordaeron kind of area and all of that is just such a blur for me so next up we have Turalyon. Turalyon kind of pisses me off I'm not gonna lie I know that it's like Illyria's husband but I don't really like him that much but I'm also kind of excited to see I feel like there's been a lot of speculation about like him kind of going crazy like maybe when Anduin comes back and him trying to take his throne and it could bring a bunch of like void and light stuff so kind of cool in that sense like lore wise but I just don't really like him so we'll just put him in the C tier because I don't hate him like I feel like I'd be kind of excited if there was like a cinematic with him and I really liked the Illidan I am my scars cinematic and he was in it so we'll put him there okay now Tyrande here's Tyrande let's put Tyrande up 
here um probably after ashara i'm gonna have to like reorganize these it's gonna be so hard because it's like god i love arthas he's super iconic but i'm just such like a female world of warcraft character lover i love ashara i love taronda um, even though Toronto kind of pissed me off with the whole, like, Sylvanas and Toronto and Tells Yourself stuff, but I just love her because she's so, you know, iconic, old school. Um, all right, so we got a few left. We got a couple trolls left in here. Uh, we got Zul'jin, another Heroes of the Storm one. I'm not, like, super close uh, to Zul'jin or anything, so we're going to throw Zul'jin into the C tier. Kind of cool. Not a super big deal, though. Uh, Zul, isn't it funny, all these similar, similar names? Zul'jin... Zul, Vol'jin, it's like all the troll names. Uh, I don't care much at all about Zul. Uh, Uther, I actually really, really like Uther, believe it or not. I mean, I wouldn't say like I really, really like him, but I do. Actually, you know what? I kind of do really like him. Let's put Uther into the A tier, not quite at the top, but I do really like Uther. I loved his um, Afterlives Shadowlands cinematic too. Oh my god, Valera Sanguinar. We're going to put Valera up into the S tier. She's one of my favorites. I love her for sure. Uh, Varian Rin, Logosh, Anduin's dad. Okay, where do we put him? I don't know if I would say S tier. I mean, actually, I would. I would say S tier, to be honest. Let's put Varian beside his son there. We love Varian, okay? Okay. Uh, Velen, the prophet Velen, let's put him into the B tier. Um, I wouldn't say I'm super stoked on him as a lore character, but I appreciate him if he was in like a cinematic and all that stuff. Um, okay, Verisa Windrunner, of course, let's also put her into the A tier. So we got Sylvanas in the S tier and her two sisters in the A tier. It's like, I like them, but I just... It's just not the same. Like, I don't have, like, this super, like, obsessed thing going on with them. I mean, like, I don't really either with, like, some of these guys, like Lorthamar. I wouldn't say I'm, like, obsessed with Lorthamar, but I do really like him. But I think I'm going to move Lorthamar down. I don't really care that much about him. You know, he's really, really cool. But these are, like, my top, like, oh my god, I'm obsessed with them kind of vibe, you know? Uh, okay. Vol'jin. Let's put Vol'jin into the B tier. It's pretty cool. I respect Vol'jin quite a bit. He's kind of like pushing the A tier a little bit, but I think B tier is more in line with where I feel about him. Uh, Rathian. Let's put Rathian into... I feel like a lot of people really love Rathian. I'm not super big on Rathian, but we'll put him in the B tier. Not A tier for sure. I don't like him that much, but he's worthy of a B and not a C. Okay, um, who is this guy from Legion? The Satyr guy. The name is slipping me, but I should know it. From the Emerald Nightmare. Why is it slipping? Oh god, I hate when this happens. It's like it's right on the tip of my tongue, <laughs> but it's not coming. Okay, I really don't want to Google it. Because I want it to just pop into my head, but it's not coming for some reason. I'm trying to remember back to reading my War of the Ancients books because I know it's in there, but it's just... It's gone. Let's look him up. Uh, Seder. Wow. What the hell? Xavius. That's it. Xavius. Oh my god. I'm so mad that that wasn't coming to me. Because I know it. It just It was just lost at this particular moment in time. I like satyrs, okay? They're hot, sexy, not like obsessed with him as a lore character, but we'll put him in the B tier, you know? It's good. All right, and we finally made it to the very last guy. We are done, and we're ending on yogg Saron, ending on an old god. I am thinking that I'm going to put him into the B tier uh, because, again, we love the old gods, but I'm just not like super like obsessed with it, you know? Like, I'm not like, oh, yogg Saron, like, hell yeah. But I mean, he's pretty dope. Like, he's pretty cool. But A tier worthy? I don't know if I'd say A tier worthy. I'm almost thinking Lady Vash is A tier worthy for me. I, I love a Naga queen. Now, in terms of organizing these into more, like, precise, God, that's going to be hard. I'm thinking definitely Sylvanas, definitely Illidan. 
Ashara, I mean, it's almost like Taronda might be here, to be honest. Like, I would say that these are, like, my top, like, Warcraft characters that are staples. Ashara kind of only recently came back, so I've been really stoked on Ashara. But it's almost to the point, I love my Warcraft girlies a lot, for sure. But Arthas is just too iconic. Um, love Nathanos, but um, I just kind of secondhand love him through Sylvanas. I love his humor and stuff, his sarcasm, but it's not like super hardcore. He's just kind of there and I'm stoked on him. Kael'thas, I love a lot for sure. Um, the rest, God, that's all kind of hard to organize. It's like I really love Anduin. I would say I love Anduin more than his dad. I might even move Varian down a little bit because I like him a lot uh, and I was really really sad when he died um but I'm not like huge like Varian lore fanatic uh same with Deathwing to be honest a lot of these are kind of hard and even uh, even Valera Sanguinar it's kind of like she's just hot mostly like she's not like super prominent in the game or anything so I think that this is like mostly good-ish a few of these could probably maybe be switched but I think that that's kind of good enough uh a few of these I mean I might you know what let's move Jaina up to the front she's an A tier for me again I don't really like what they've done recently with her but you know she's cool uh a lot of this god this is kind of hard to uh <laughs> to organize here I love Maeve I get really really stoked on Maeve mm, I just don't really care much about the other Windrunner sisters you know they're just not like the vibe that I'm going for. But to be honest, I mean, I could sit here and try to organize these, but for the most part, I think that this is pretty accurate. I think the main ones that we're trying to see is our S tier. Um, let me know what you guys think. Uh, what were, what was yours like? Are they kind of similar? Do we have a lot in common? Uh, are you mad for any of my placements or shocked by some of my placements? Uh, let me know. I'm sorry that some of them kind of slipped my mind a little bit. I tried to do my best. I think I got a lot of them. Uh, sometimes it's hard on the spot, especially if it's like an artwork that you weren't really expecting to see you know and uh it's a lot of names to remember if i'm going to be completely honest but hope that you guys enjoyed it let me know if you want to see more stuff like this i would definitely love to uh do all of these rankings and stuff and i will see you in the next one thank you so much for watching